this is going to be the existing setup that we have for Ron Norman, and we're looking at a 21 and 3 quarters wide ca cabinet of the furnace by 60 tall on this guy. We got a 5 inch exhaust coming out that we'll need to get a reducer from a 5 to a 4 inch. And then we have the gas line directly on this side. It's a bit older, and I, I may. I may have you guys test it out just a little bit and see if we want to do either a new shutoff for it because it's it's a 40 year old gas line easily when the house was originally built. Um, the electricals right here may or may not need to be updated as well for the newer setup. Um, we have an 8 by 24 cold air return directly on this right side and I tried to get as much as I can but I couldn't fit my um, tape measure through this so I basically went on this back side basically eyeballed it out it's about 24 by 8 is what i came up to especially from experience that's usually what they do in these older houses um, we're coming up to about a 20 um, inch plenum right up above that and what i'm overall or what i think would be best is if we just got a base can right here put in the filter rack that way he doesn't have to change it out inside of the new furnace you can just pop it off and switch it out it'll be a lot easier and putting the furnace cabinet roughly right here, and then we'll have to build a transition um, if the cabinet's too much smaller, depending on the heat load calc. Um, but that's basically what we're looking at, guys.